go for a ride in this. Well, we're about to show you an RV that becomes a houseboat and a sports car that becomes a speedboat. In a perfect world, you're traveling to a coastal resort in a slick convertible with the wind in your hair. Then, when you come to the shoreline, voila, you're suddenly in a speedboat ready to propel you anywhere. La voyage! From the intimate to the ultimate, is there anything the ship doesn't have? When director James Cameron created Titanic in 1997, he pushed the boundaries of technology and filmmaking. It became the top grossing film of all time. But how do you follow that up? By visiting the real Titanic. To do that, Cameron went back to the wreck to go where no one had dared before. It's the first time anybody's really uh, completely searched the inside of the, of the wreck. And we had to, you know, build new technology to be able to do that. Before Star Wars, before Blade Runner, one film set the standard for all science fiction features to come. You know, it's neat to see what used to be science fiction becoming a reality. Minority Report is a fictional portrayal of crime prevention 50 years from now. Not all the technology in the film is a figment of Hollywood's imagination, but rather already in development. Like this newspaper of the future. And that means taking Apollo 13 from the traditional screen to this the IMAX 1750 DMR. At eight stories high and 100 feet wide, it's a completely different movie-going experience. We're at the Best X booth, and this is the VRX vinyl cutter. Now, if you look closely, you can actually see the vinyl being cut on this disc. And the nice thing about the VRX vinyl cutter is the fact that you can come from vinyl to vinyl, take to vinyl, live through a mixer to vinyl, or even from MP3 to vinyl. And this is for the serious DJ folks. It's going to run you about 10,000 bucks. Now moving on, we've got something for our Mac lovers. Here's some tips and tricks you just might not know about iTunes 2.0. Lots more coming up from NAMM right after this. But we are the National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences. This addresses the science as part of what our people do. He's got a license to kill and a set of tools on the cutting edge. But when it comes to outfitting Bond with the coolest toys in the spy business, nobody does it better than Q. What was your favorite gadget in this movie and why? I I think I love the, 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 the ring that Pierce wore that could, um, you know, um, break the glass. <laughs> This wrist-top computer measures altitude up to 29,000 feet. According to my Sunto watch, I know I've been up here for 30 minutes at an altitude of 3,200, and that storm is coming in from the northwest. Looks like an ordinary cup. The single, a mini disc, right inside the lid. The straw, it goes right through that little hole. Now that's clever. As more and more hotels begin to cater to the business traveler, amenities like Wi-Fi and high-speed internet access will become the norm. In the meantime, guests like myself will have to continue to pack their own wired load. And finally, our last bit of gear, a digital device for decoding those night skies. When you're out at night, you can't help but notice the stars. But how do you know what you're looking at? Well, the Pocket Stars program can help. At the Letterman Digital Arts Center in San Francisco, California, I'm Chris Kosach for CNET.com.